think the uh, way to think about the equity market is through the lens of the bond market. And we want to think about duration, kind of the average time in the future, you're going to be getting the cash flows for a company. And the bottom line is when rates are rising, you want to shorten the duration in a bond portfolio, the same thing holds for equities. That it benefits the cyclical companies as compared with these longer duration uh, technology stocks in general. Uh, and so that's, I think, explains to us the, uh, the significant rotation, if you will, out of technology and particularly the longer term uh, secular growth companies into a more cyclical uh, type of market. I think that's been the story in the last uh, in the last month. Does that mean that the rotation out of high multiple tech names is mostly done? Well, the question is on a uh, on a either day to day basis, or we certainly know today is a huge recovery uh, and rally, if you will, in, uh, in Nasdaq in particular. But the, the issue really is what's happening on the margin. We have huge fiscal stimulus coming. Uh, likely to be signed uh, in the next day or so. Uh, we like to have a very significant improvement in the vaccination process, more than 2 million people a day. So those things are about nearer-term activity, and that really does benefit an improvement of uh, the business, acti- business fundamentals for, for some of the near-term, more cyclical-related uh, stocks in the recovery trade, if you will. Uh, so if you want to think about a longer term, sure, technology, secular growth, those are definitely uh, tapping into some of the you know, ev- evolutions in what's happening in the economy. But near term, tactically, it's likely to be cyclical, Carl. David, I and mean, we've got more direct checks going out to at least some Americans uh, expected at some point in the next couple of weeks. Um, we certainly know there's been this rise in the retail investor and that some of that previous stimulus money has made its way to the market. What are your expectations now? So, Morgan, you tap on a key issue, which is where's the demand coming from uh, from investors, broadly speaking, to push the market higher? Uh, a lot of those stimulus checks, of course, will be spent. But from a household perspective, that's the key source of demand, as we see it, to push equities uh, higher in, in 2021. And, uh, and, and so I'll put some numbers around that. Uh, there's about $5 trillion that are in money market mutual funds right now. It's been coming down uh, since the start of the year. And the issue is how much more will that shift, those assets shift from money market funds into other asset classes. And typically when bond yields are rising, that is the experience. You have the fundamental data would suggest that you get flows coming from cash into equities. uh, And that's a big story. We think there's more than $350 billion likely to come out from households and, and, and shift into equities. So I think that's a big story. Not so much the stimulus particularly, but rather the higher rates, both real rates and inflation expectations. Uh, that history would suggest that's increased demand for, uh, for equity shares. And I think that's uh, gonna be a key story for, for this year. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.